How's it going guys, Gleb here, and welcome to another product review. Today, I wanted to share some of my thoughts about the Tenba Messenger DNA 13. I love that picture, by the way. It's, it makes me laugh. It's funny. All right, let's get started. Okay, so this is the Tenba Messenger DNA 13 bag. And first, let me tell you real quick about why I wanted this particular bag, or why I went with this particular bag. Um, mainly is because I wanted a messenger bag, and I was kind of looking around, and I kind of wanted one to, you know, that can carry just, you know, like everyday items, maybe a notebook, a laptop, a tablet, if I need to go like a meeting somewhere, or um, just want to bring some stuff with me. And I kind of thought, you know, why not find a messenger bag that can also double as a camera messenger bag and after looking around a bit online I found this guy right here which is awesome because it's it works very well for both you know for both things I can put my camera in there and take it with me if I want to go do some street photography or just bring it along if I'm hanging out with my friends and we're going to like the city or somewhere cool so I always have my camera on me it can also be used as a good Kind of a gadget bag so if i'm shooting an event i can have all my lenses in the bag and quickly just reach in there grab what i need switch it around put the other one back in and just keep on shooting without as much downtime as i would have like trying to take my backpack off you know i'm gonna unzip it find all the lenses switch them out zip back up and throw it back on that way i can i, I kind of just have it with me at all times and i have access quicker access to all my lenses and stuff like that so that's why I went with that bag. It's a pretty versatile bag and I've, I'm loving it. It's, it's been a lot of fun and I can fit a lot of stuff in there. Even though it doesn't look that big, it, it, can, it can hold a lot of good stuff. Okay, so let's start with some of the features and I'll start with my favorite feature, which is the removable camera insert inside the bag. Just open it up and take up half the frame doing so. And bam. Yeah, that took longer than I wanted to. But this is a removable camera insert, and this thing is huge. I mean, it won't hold like, you know, huge amounts of gear, but it can hold all the essentials. In here I can fit my Nikon D750 with uh, the 24 to 120 lens attached. I can also fit my 7200 Tamron lens. No problem, it fits, you know, full length, full height. In it and you know throwing like a smaller smaller lens on the side maybe another accessory got extra pockets for your chargers and everything like that so bring some batteries it also comes with a oh dropped it also comes with a rain cover so just keep that in your bag and if it starts raining you just put it over the bag and it keeps your gear protected so really awesome favorite feature is this camera insert which you know makes it a very useful camera bag. And when you remove that camera insert, you get this huge space on the inside. Look at that. That is a lot of space. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. You can fit your laptop, you can fit a tablet. I think it's up to 10 inches, so you know, your regular iPad. Um, it's got more pockets in the front. Pockets in the front. And more pockets, pockets inside a zipper pocket. Yeah, you got plenty of room in here to fit anything you want. And I recently went on a trip to LA and really I brought I brought this thing with me instead of bringing like my full camera backpack because I didn't really want to bring all my gear but I still wanted to have something that I can carry my camera around in. So I brought my GH5 and I brought my Gorillapod just to have that with me. And uh, one of the days, uh, my friends and I, we decided to go head to the beach. So we walked around Venice Beach in Santa Monica and I had this thing packed with uh, a swimsuit, some flip flops, uh, an extra shirt so I can change into uh, because we decided to take a dip in the ocean and swim around a bit. The water was cold by the way. Um, and I was just surprised because I was able to fit everything I needed in here. I fit my flip flops, my swimming shorts, my extra t-shirt and everything and still had plenty of room to put my GH5 on top and the Gorilla Pod just over on the side and you know it held up really well and after that 
After I swam, I put my regular street clothes, I put my shoes in here, my shorts and my t other t-shirt, and it's still all fit. Gl granted, it did look a little bit bulky, but still, you know, I like everything, everything fits in there. It's awesome. So basically my favorite feature on this bag is the versatility and the amount of space that it has on the inside. So that makes it really, really useful for a lot of different situations. Whether you wanna bring your camera with you or not, you have plenty of room in here to carry all the stuff you need. And you know, with the camera insert, you can bring a pretty decent amount of camera gear with you as well. So it's pretty great. Uh, let's go over some other features. So it does have these really sweet little clips right here in the front. You kinda just glide them over and they snap on. It's super easy and makes it really quick to access them. To unlock them, you just slide them to the side, boom, and you can gain access to the inside of the bag. It also has what's called quiet Velcro, and basically to, un to open it up, you just pull down on the bag and then lift it. The Velcro, it's not like silent, silent, like super dead silent. However, it is a lot quieter than just pulling straight out on it. So if you're doing event photography and you need to access your gear more quietly, you know, you have that option. But if you want to be very discreet, it has a zipper up here on the top. Boom. Zipper up here on the top, and through there you can gain access to the inside of the bag as well. So if you want to grab your camera gear without having to undo the latches and use the Velcro, you also have a second option of going in there and unzipping the top of the bag. Uh, over on the back side, we got an extra pocket. Lots of pockets on this one. Extra pocket and it comes with this extra little strap so you can latch it onto one of the hooks on the back right here. Boom, I hope you can see it. It's a little hook back here on the back and then attach it to your main strap. And if you commute by a bicycle or just wanna have a little extra security, you can put that around yourself and it just kinda of keeps the bag closer to your body so it doesn't fling around all over the place. So they say it's great for you know bike riding and I tried it, it worked pretty well. Um, still not as good as a sling bag, I think, for riding a bike, but you know, pretty cool that they added that in there. Next, on the front here, we also have some extra pockets. I can fit some pens in here, very small items, maybe a pack of gum, charger, phone charger, things like that. Overall, great bag. I think that's pretty much all the features of the bag, all the just the different pockets. There's nothing really super special that it has, no weird gimmicks or anything like that. Just these cool little latches that make it very easy to access, access the bag and clip them on. Good stuff. It is water resistant. Uh, the material is pretty tough, pretty strong. Doesn't feel like it's gonna rip up on you, not flimsy at all. And it's pretty well padded, including the camera compartment. Like this stuff is padded. I can, tr I'm, I, I, I trust this thing to keep my gear pretty safe and secure. Doesn't feel like it tumbles around in there too much. And yeah, the padding is pretty good. So I wouldn't be too worried about your gear like banging against each other. Um, keeps it pretty protected, which is great. And that's probably the most important thing to look for in a camera bag is protection and ease of use and versatility. And I think this thing fits the bills pretty well. Everything on it feels pretty solid. These are metal, which is nice. So they feel stronger versus just plastic little clips and things, which I always feel like are gonna break if it gets too cold or too hot or, you know, basically if you do anything. You got two mesh pockets on the side so you can put a water bottle in here, maybe put a Gorilla Pot on the side if you have one. Um, makes it easier to carry some extra stuff around. I love this bag. It's very versatile and feels nice. It looks nice. It doesn't look like a camera bag on the outside, which is great if you're walking around the city or if you're like bringing your camera to work with you and stuff. So it doesn't really look like you're carrying a bunch of expensive stuff in here. I guess my only real complaint about this bag is it has something to do with these latches. And if you have an empty bag like I have right now, if you don't really tighten them down too much, hopefully you can see it pretty well. If you don't tighten these down too much, then I've had them kind of just pop loose on me, just like that. The Velcro still keeps the lid closed, which is pretty nice, and it's kind of like a good little backup. However, if you don't tighten these up, they will, I have had them come loose, 
which is a little bit annoying when they're just dangling there and they're kind of like Bleh. if you do have this bag or if you do decide to pick it up just make sure you tighten those down it kind of keeps them more secure keeps them from flailing all over the place and also you know as always keeps your gears pretty secure as well but just make sure you tighten them down that's my really that's really my only complaint about it and it's a really minor issue other than that i love this bag it's really awesome so overall it's a great bag if you want to have something that you can use for your camera equipment but also bring with you every day to work school and whatever because you can use it as a regular messenger bag as well so if you're looking for something very versatile the Tenba Messenger DNA 13. They also have a 15 inch size, I believe, and they also have an 11 inch size, I think. It's gonna be a little bit smaller, but overall, like super versatile. Obviously, the bigger sizes are gonna carry more gear or have a little bit more room, which is nice. However, I felt like the 13 was a really good size for everyday use. It's not too big, not too bulky. It's pretty slim. Um, yeah, overall, pretty great stuff. So that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts, my quick little review on the Temba Messenger DNA 13 bag. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're looking for a nice all around messenger bag that can also carry your camera gear, this guy right here works really well. And yeah, just overall a great bag. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Share it with your friends if they're interested in buying a new camera bag or just, you know, simply like looking at gadgets and tech gear and reviews and things like that. So go ahead and share it with them. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And yeah, that's all. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.